I am the Courtney Williams. Welcome to my channel. If you are new, today is Monday and it's my freaking off day, but I feel sick as hell. <laughs> I mean, like the last few days, I wasn't really feeling that hot. Like I was just feeling super sore, like all over my body, but I was thinking maybe it was just the way I had slept or like one night I had slept on my hard ass couch. So I was thinking maybe that has something to do with it. So I just ended up soaking in the bathtub. And I was like, oh, maybe just, you know, have a little good ass hot bathtub. That will help. And I'll just be good from there. But today it has escalated. <laughs> like, I'm feeling a little bit better in my throat now. Like, my voice doesn't feel scratchy right now. But when I woke up, I really couldn't talk that way. Like, I could hear my voice sounding different. And I just had a major headache. So I just took a bunch of vitamin C pills that I got a few months ago. I also had made me, but what I'm talking about had made me, girl, what kind of English is that? <laughs> I also made me some hot tea. This is like, I can't remember the name of it, what kind it was. It was some hot tea. I made some hot tea. I had this big old bottle of water. And I also took some uh, cold medicine that I got from my job yesterday because I realized they had a first aid kit and they had some stuff that might be more legit than the pharmacies because I don't know if you guys remember the first time I got sick here in Vietnam, I went to the pharmacy and they just started pulling all kind of stuff off the shelf because I think, you know, they thought, oh, she's a foreigner. Oh, let's get this coin. And I'm like, girl, no, ma'am, let me just get that one right there. And it didn't work. And I got some stuff the last time I was sick. And that stuff didn't really work either. I mean, so I felt like what they have in the first aid box might be more effective. Because, you know, the Vietnamese people actually went and got what they thought would be good for a cold or what. You know, like, I just feel like it might be more effective than what I was buying or what I was assuming would work. So... The goal today, I had a lot of stuff on my to-do list, and I also had a bunch of stuff planned. But I'm going to be easy with myself today because I just feel like I feel that cold trying to come, and I just really want to nip it in the bud because I'm literally going to Ho Chi Minh on Thursday, and I ain't trying to be sick. When I touch Ho Chi Minh, I mean, I'm trying to throw ass in a circle. Okay, when I touch Bangkok, because I'm going to Bangkok after Ho Chi Minh, I'm trying to throw this ass in a circle. And sickness is not a part of that plan. Okay, can y'all come with me? Sickness is not a part of that plan. So whatever I had planned between now and freaking Thursday is going to be kind of put on the back burner because I need to take care of myself. I mean, like I need to really hydrate and... Just make sure that I'm medicating myself and just taking care of myself, resting. My body obviously needs a moment, so that's what I'm going to be doing. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm really going to be able to do later because my TAs have kind of all been fired. <laughs> um, they really wanted like some full-time people, and my TAs are part-time, so all of them couldn't convert to full-time, so all of them got fired. And before I left for Malaysia, well, no, during the week I was in Malaysia, they had a farewell party, but I wasn't here, so I wasn't able to do it. So I told them, like, all my TAs, because I have, like, five different TAs. I was like, let's do our own farewell party. So we're supposed to be doing that tonight. So I'm thinking, like, maybe from now until then, because that's, like, 7 p.m. tonight. If I just medicate myself, maybe I'll be good for that. And then for the next couple of days, I'll just kind of chill out or whatever. Um, right now I'm about to head to the bank because my, my job basically switched banks. It was a whole big thing. Now I got to go see if this card is activated and see if I can get these coins off. Excuse me. If I can get these coins off of this card. So it's a lot supposed to be happening, but whatever is happening today or whatever ends up happening, I'm just going to be easy with myself and I'm not going to be feeling guilty or anything if I'm not able to accomplish everything on my to-do list because 
obviously I feel like my body is tired. My body needs a moment to recharge. And you know what, y'all? Last night I had my reading with uh, Zaya. I freaking, freaking, freaking love her. Oh my God, I freaking love her. Our reading was fucking everything. Can I pray about it? Like I had so many moments of just like praise breaks because I was like, yes. You get it? Yes. I see it. Yes. <laughs> so one of the things that she was telling me was that this whole season right now that I'm having as far as my travel goes, see, I'm sweating. I mean, y'all, I'm hot. I mean, <laughs> my body is just like, girl, what is happening? But <laughs> um, one of the things she was telling me was that my season right now, a lot of confusion that I'm feeling is like, because this is a season for me to learn myself better, like learn what my triggers are, learn what's, you know, keeping me going, when I need to recharge and when I need to, you know, be gentle with my body and stuff. So today I'm listening and I'm taking heed. So let's head to the bank and try to get that set up. And we're just going to go one step at a time and see how this day really actually unfolds. get some soup so fur guy what they didn't have they don't have the chicken fur they only have fur bowl which is the beef so i'm gonna get it i'm gonna eat it and then i'm going to the bank <laughs> it's just some hot water to clean the chopsticks let's see what jasmine is doing thank you for the soup and like a water which is like a dollar and 76 cent usd like stuff is so cheap here i mean it's a constant blessing so now that i am full and i'm feeling a little bit better i'm about to head to the bank i'm not that far i think i'm about 16 minutes away so i'm about to head to the bank get that situated and then i'm gonna meet up with Farah. so i'll see you guys when i get there to relax i was literally about to flip a casket or something but the atm definitely charged me the wrong thing it was not supposed to charge me one mil it was supposed to charge me a thousand that's a huge ass difference <laughs> so they um they fixed it for me and then they broke down like all the fees and everything moving forward so i know and i'm aware of what i'll be charged and I guess it is kind of good because I can go into the bank and pull whatever amount I want without any fees. Whereas like the other bank that we were with, if I went to the eight to the actual counter, they charge like a like a big fee as well. So I would always use the ATM at the other place. 
but we got it straight. So I'm in the better spirit. I'm feeling good. My energy is high. I just have to go meet Farah. She's waiting for me at the spicy fur place. I gotta go pick her up. I probably won't be able to check in with you guys until I get home though because my iPad's about to die and I didn't bring my camera with me. So I will see you guys when I get to a charger and have a moment to charge my iPad. Hi guys. Say hey Farah. <laughs> everybody made it. I'm so excited. Well, not everybody, but the most important, whoever's here made it. So we're excited. We just um we just ordered some a bunch of stuff. We ordered some sausage, we ordered some chicken, we ordered some wings, some bread, some potatoes. <laughs> we ordered a bunch of stuff, so I'm excited. It's gonna be so good. And then we're going to carry a key. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, remember, people yeah, will yeah. stare. They turned the lights off on us. Oh. <laughs> remember, people will stare and make it work okay. there a while. Yeah. And I will see you guys later. Okay. Bye. See you. Woo. <laughs>